Mike Elmans here. Today I'm joined by Armand Sarukian, who in three weeks' time will be main eventing in UFC Austin versus Benil Dariush. Armand, great to sit down and chat. How are things are you today? Hello, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for inviting. Um, your last five fights have been in the UFC Apex, your first first fight in front of a crowd in about three years. How excited are you to fight in front of in front of the Texas fans? I'm so excited, you know, I was waiting a long time. Uh, to fight with uh, fans, you know, with like a lot of, a lot of my friends, my family can come and support me. So, so happy. How did your first main event against Mateusz Gamrot prepare you for this second main event against Benil Tariusz? Uh, I changed some details. So, uh, now I train a little bit different and. Uh, I can say I train less than before. I know that you've said in other interviews this fight was rumored for October, then for November, and then now obviously the second of December. What was your reaction when your manager told you that you'd be main eventing in Austin? I was happy, you know, and uh, we're supposed to fight in November, in October. It's like big cards too, and uh, but to be in main event is a different level, so. And the uh, five round, I think, uh, it's good. Good for me, you know. I can, I, I can have a lot of time for finishing. What do you make of your opponent, Benil Dariush? Say it again. What do you, what do you think of your opponent, Benil Dariush? Benil, he's a strong fighter. He has a lot of experience. Uh, he's a good grappler, good striking, you know. Not bad defense from wrestling and uh, very well rounded fighter, you know. And uh, so that fight is going to be very interesting. Where do you think you're better than him? Uh, on the feet. My, I, I think my, I think and I believe my striking is better and my freestyle wrestling is better. And uh, I feel just um, better. 100%. Um, Benil's last fight was obviously a defeat to Charles Oliveira. Uh, he said in other interviews that that was a bad night, that was a, a bad, uh, an off night. Um, do you agree with that? Or do you think that Charles Oliveira is the better fighter than Benil Tariush? You know, uh, that day Oliveira was better. So... It doesn't matter like how felt the Rush, how was uh, his shape. Just we gotta we gotta say like Alvera was better for that day. We don't we don't know like if we're gonna fight again who is gonna win. But for that day, uh, uh, Oliver was better. So and uh, but shit is happened, you know. Never know. We had, you obviously had the first main event against Mateusz Gamroth. That was a very close fight that I pass and a lot of fans thought that you deserved to win. Um, how does your preparation change going into this fight? Have you got to be more urgent? Has your output got to be better? Or have you just got to do the same things that you did in the Gamroth fight? You know, before Gamroth, I've never fought five rounds. So mm-hmm. now I fought five rounds and I had that experience. So, And uh, now I know how to control my guess so and uh but Benil never he has never had a five round fight so nah, so that's that's good I already have that I already had uh five rounds and uh I have more experience on five rounds but hopefully it's not gonna be five rounds this fight I wanna finish him early percent uh, you're ranked number eight in the UFC lightweight division. You're taking on number four. What does a win over Benil Dariush do for you in the 155 pound division? You know that win gives me a lot of opportunity to be uh, on uh, on lane to fight for the belt. You know, and like I'm gonna be very close, and uh, hopefully after Dariush, I'm gonna fight for the title. If not. I'll take one more fight and uh, win one more fight and keep going. You know, doesn't matter. Just I have a 
goal and achieve I uh, want to achieve, achieve my goal. You said then about the title shot. Do you think a big win over Benil Dariusha, a strong performance or maybe even a finish, do you think that would be enough to get you the title shot against Islam Makachev? Uh, I think yes. But like, never know, you know, probably uh, Oliver are going to fight again. But but I heard Islam, Islam want to fight in summer. Maybe after Benil, I'm going to fight one more time and then I'm going to be online. But I'm I'm not thinking about fight, uh, a title fight right now to be honest because it's a very very big fight for me very like dangerous fighter uh, that you he's not he's not easy fight for me and uh, yeah just after after that fight I'm gonna talk but before uh, now and I gotta be I gotta I gotta be focused on Darius so. But hopefully after him, I'll get that, that chance. How does it feel for you to be so near to the top five, to be to be so close to that goal that you've tried to attain for so long? You know, it's a dream, you know, to be a, like uh, one of the best fighter in the world. Like top five, it's a, like, it's a different level, you know, when I was like, 20 years old or 18 years old I have never think, thought about that you know and uh, now I'm here and uh, I feel I can achieve my goal and uh, so just train hard and uh, and uh, work pays off so I, I know that you've struggled in the past to get people to sign the contract to fight you I know that you've struggled to get matchups in the past do you think if you beat number four, you crack that top five, people will still be avoiding the name, Alman Sarukin? Sure, sure. But, you know, UFC got to gotta push them to sign mm. that country. But, you know, like, a lot of people going to want to, uh, like, a lot of people from top 15 going to say, oh, I want to fight now with Alman Sarukin because he's in number five. But, like, that moment, I'm going to say, bye, guys. It's not, it's not, that time. So last five, like a, a couple of my, months ago, nobody wanted to fight even from top 15. So just Darius. And uh, Darius took this fight because he lost. He, he, he doesn't have a choice. So if he won that fight or like still, he tried to hide, you know. Does it surprise you that people won't sign to fight you? The best, the best fighters in the world won't sign on the dotted line. They want to find like easy fights. So strikers looking for a striker, you know, wrestler looking for a striker, and uh, nobody wants to fight with a wrestler and striker in one fighter. I know that in the past you've called out Michael Chandler. Um, I know that that was the was a fight that you wanted. Do you anticipate that Chat Michael Chandler will get the Conor McGregor fight that he still, he still, he still wants? You know, uh, I think they're gonna fight uh, in uh, Conor gonna fight with Chandler, and then uh, if I beat Darius, I'm not gonna think about uh, Chandler or Conor. I just gonna think about title fight. Let's see. Speaking of the title, Islam Makachev looked like he'll be rematching Charles Oliveira. Uh, that seems to be the rumor. Who do you think wins that fight? Same. Uh, Islam gonna win. But fight, it's you never know. But like, ninety percent Islam gonna win. But like, maybe he can get sick, and that day he he could feel very bad and like lose. You know, but it's a fight. You never know what happened. But like. If they're gonna be both uh, on in good shape, I sure Islam gonna win because I don't know how uh, Oliveira wants to win because like Islam can strike, can wrestle, can grapple, or whatever. So he's good everywhere. Did the Islam Makachev Alexander Volkanovsky two results surprise you? The first round KO. Yeah, was was you know I I I I knew like Islam gonna win, but not like that. I thought like 
maybe ground and pound, maybe like make him tired and like, you know, and then like finish him, maybe choke him, but not like that in the first round, like head, head, um, head kick, you know, and like, yeah, it was, it was good. I know that you've spent time in the cage, 15 minutes in the cage with Islam Makachev a few years ago. When you look at him now, what do you think are the keys to beat the champion? What would you, what would any fighter need to do to have success against Islam Makhachev? No, uh, against Islam Makhachev, you gotta go and fight. You know, like don't like try to, uh, uh, you know, you gotta make a little bit dirty fight. You know, go like forward, stop his takedown, and like box him, strike him. You know. And like push him back, not forward. Don't don't let him like push you and like to be close to the cage. And he's good when like he can he can take you down from the from the from the cage. But on the center, he's not that good. Let's see, like if we're gonna watch last his fight, he missed the takedown with Volkanovski because it was on the center. But if it was in, on the cage, definitely he took him down. Would it mean more for you to win the title and avenge that loss to Islam Makachev at the same time? Yeah, it's the best case scenario. 100%. Last one from me, Armin, and thank you so much for your time. Um, what, no can fans, what can fans expect when they see, make, they see you make your return in Austin on, on December 2nd versus Neil Tariush? Say it again? What can fans expect when you make your return against Benil Tariush in the 2nd of December? Brazil. Uh... I don't. I don't understand the question. Uh, what can fans, your fans, Armand Sarukian fans, what can they yeah. expect to see in your next fight? Yeah. So, uh, they gotta expect the best performance from Armand Sarukian, the best KO, and uh, yeah, definitely it's gonna be finish. So, if I wanna fight for the title, I gotta finish. If I'm going to win barely, you know, like people going to talk, ah, well, we're going to knock him out. You just barely win him. What are you talking about? So that's why I got to perform very well and uh, knock him out. So, but to be honest, I like, I like a lot of Tariush, like a fighter, like a guy. So just, I got to give him respect. And it sounds like your prediction is knockout for the victory? Yes, sir. I love it. Armin, thank you so much for the time. It was great to chat. Thank you. I will be covering your fight in two, in two three weeks' time, and I look very much forward to oh, coming over to Texas nice. and watching you perform. By the way, where are you from? I'm from Liverpool in England. Oh, nice. So I'm coming all halfway across the world to watch you in, in Austin, and I cannot wait. Let's go. I have a lot of friends from Liverpool. <laughs>